This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Here we are again. Well, living out in western Kansas, of course, we've got jackrabbits. And so I started looking into um, um, facts about jackrabbits. And George Paris, you know George. You mm -hmm. knew George and, uh, and his uh, late wife, Velma. But George has a wonderful recording. I think it's called Back When I Was Alive. And it's his stories of growing up during the Dust Bowl. And one of them is about the, the jackrabbit hunts that they used to have. Mm -hmm which were really brutal. And there's some footage online at Kansas State Historical Society if you want to go see. And then they would, the jackrabbits were eating so much of the crops, like they could destroy $10 worth of crops a day. And in 1930-something um, figures, that was a lot. Mm -hmm. Millions and millions of jackrabbits. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. So they would round them up and they would beat them to death. I mean, it's just... Like an episode of the Twilight Zone. Mm, yeah. Well, we still have jackrabbits in western Kansas, though. They're not as... Um, well, they're not as numerous. Or, they're not as numerous. And therefore not as destructive. And therefore not as destructive. Um, but they're, they're still an issue. And I know that one of my friends was talking about her husband riding the combine with his 22, you know, picking off the jackrabbits as they went. And uh, I think it's open season on them, too, Frank, you know, or we were talking about that yeah. in another show, weren't we? That it's open season all the time, all the time. So, um, but they're <laughs> interesting little critters. I mean, they really are. It's just like those little kangaroo rats, you know. Yeah. You just never know till you start looking at them. Well, I, in, in the neighborhood I live in, we have a lot of rabbits there. But no, they're not they're, jackrabbits, are No, they? they're not jackrabbits, but they're... They're just nice little bunnies. The little cottontails. Just yeah. nice little cottontails. Yeah. Not nearly as destructive. Well, they can eat a lot, too. All right. Let's take a look at our friend, the jackrabbit. During the operation of pest control project, over 2 million jackrabbits were killed or captured in 13 counties in western Kansas. It has been estimated that a single jackrabbit will do $10 worth of damage in a normal year, and that, desperate for food, in drought years, such as the last few have been, may be even more destructive. The long-eared pest, in the absence of other food, went so far as to dig alfalfa roots out of the ground and eat the barks from the young trees. More than 1,974 sections of land were combed during the rabbit drives, and more than 98,000 men, women, and children took part in staging 269 drives and the average kill was 923 rabbits per drive. The accepted plan of campaign was to assemble the multitude at a given point and then to spread out in a great encircling line over predetermined sections of land and to press forward and at the same time drawing together, driving everything before them into pens that had been erected on an open plot of ground. Work relief projects were approved for the erection of the pens and for their removal from one location to another and for driving the jacks. Counties sponsoring the drives furnished all necessary materials for the fences and pens and foremen to supervise the construction and removal. The pens for trapping the rabbits were built of woven wire fencing supported by strong wooden posts. Most of them were octagonal in shape and measured about 54 feet between the parallel sides. Extermination of the rabbits has been of value to the counties in many respects. Some of the rabbits killed in drives early in 1935 were used as food for human consumption, and in many localities they were skinned and ground for tankage. Farmers reported that they made excellent feed for chickens and hogs. While it would seem from this that all the jackrabbits in the world had congregated in the western part of the state of Kansas, there are numerous neighboring states in which rabbits of any kind are a scarcity. There were enough here, however, for anyone who cared to participate, and several thousand were hauled away in cage trucks to become the propagators of their kind. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. 